What is up guys? It's your boy Reed King at Flash King Comics and this is No Justice 2. Yes, today is Comic Book Wednesday and we have the second issue, No Justice 2. And um, I want to say, you know, I showed you the covers and I showed you the selection, but, you know, um, we're actually going to be going through this because DC Nation had a prelude to the story of No Justice and um, people forget that uh, Titans Annual Number 2 and Arrow's uh, annual number two, I guess both left off on, um, you know, leading up to No Justice, uh, number one. Now, uh, the I want to say the team directly, some of the characters are in the story, but the, the main hitters in the end of Titans, like, you, you don't see all of them. And uh, you find out in the conclusion uh, in the second story of No Justice, issue number two. So let's just go through a quick summary of what's going on. So in the end of uh, DC Nation number zero, you see that the team is, I want to say the team is fighting together as one, but it's, it feels like even though this is a prelude story, I feel like it goes, this story goes uh, nicely after or in between now, I want to say after you read number two, like in between number two and three, if you reread this story, it kind of feels like it goes in more separately because, you know, the what's going on in this story is, you know, they're fighting as teams together. And then, uh, you know, Arrow and Supergirl in the background are like, you know, all the heroes have to go do this, uh, you know, mission with Brainiac. And, you know, they understand what's going on. But it's like a little cliffhanger because, you know, Supergirl sees all these uh, different entities, uh, these, you know, these four galactic source wall giants that, you know, the, the Justice League, these Justice League new teams have to go against. And it's just, it's crazy and it's epic and it's wild and it's just like, what is going on? It's just so much hitting you at, at, you at once. So in the first issue, you find out that Brainiac has come and gra uh, gathered all the heroes and teams and has uh, put like these suits on them that has like a certain way of going towards, uh, you know, these four different uh, groups that they need to complete in this task on his home world of Kalu. And it's crazy because, you know, this is like the smartest uh, race of people in the world. And in this dangerous event, they're all running scared and frantic. And, you know, uh, Brainiac, in a way, is asking for their help, you know. But he is the the worst villain in the history and uh, of anything. And they know that. And they're like... You know, they're, everybody's after them, after the heroes, because they're wearing Brainiac's armor or something like that. That makes them know that, you know, they're working with Brainiac. And he's like, but we're heroes. Like, these boys, like, we're heroes. And the guy's like, why are you trying to say you're heroes? You're wearing a, a, a supervillain's outfit. And it's just, it's crazy and chaotic. And it's, it's so new because, you know, they broke the source wall. So you have everything, you know, pouring in that's new. And they're trying to... You know, and fill this world with, you know, crazy and different things. And, you know, one way it's saying that they have to defeat this new enemy is a new way of fighting with new allies, you know, new new strategies. So it's just, it's very epic in the way that it's going. And, you know, you always have Amanda Waller in the background doing something. And the team that she puts together of psychic people uh, to hack Brainiac, why he's, like, doing his so-called invasion... I mean, she ends up killing him, and because she ends up killing him, you know, Brainiac always has a backup plan, you know, if something doesn't go his way, and that's exactly what it was. It was a safeguard that took out all the heroes, you know, Nightwing's unconscious, Aquaman's unconscious, uh, D uh, Donna Troy's unconscious. I mean, everybody is just, you know, that was supposed to be a heavy hitter for her, you know, to keep Earth safe. It's not there. Green Arrow is teaming up with Amanda Waller, and he's worried, and he's like, we need to take care of this problem right now. But the problem is, is it's too late. Amanda Waller already, uh, you know, destroyed uh, Brainiac, and, you know, these heroes are trying to figure out what's going on with these so-called, uh, you know, equations that they're trying to solve. And, 
you know, in the second, in this prelude, you know, Batman says that they have to unleash all these uh, criminals. And the criminal that is the most worst out of all of them at the very end is Brainiac's son. And Brainiac's son simply tells them, you, sh you guys should have left as soon as my dad died because this has just went to, like, the gutter. It just, everything's gone. You can throw everything away. You know, we're screwed. And your planet's next. So, yeah, no justice number two. You got you got to get this storyline. I wouldn't say you have to get, uh, what is it, Titans Annual number... Titans Annual number two. It's just the point that the annual stories are, are crossing over. So, like, uh, a Arrow's uh, Annual... I don't know if it's number one or number two, but I know uh, in it a whole bunch of satellites, uh, a whole bunch of Queen, uh, what was it, Queen Consolidated or Queen something, They ex a whole bunch of his satellites exploded because of Amanda Waller, and that's what led up to this situation. So it's just, it's a little bits and pieces. And, it's, and the, the adventure for the Titans, we will see in uh, hopefully Titans, uh, not No Justice 3, We'll see where this story continues. All right, guys. I'm out. Puerto Rican and Flash in the Comics. And today has been a great day in the comic book world. Issue number two. Get it. Next issue comes out next week. All right, guys.